At this year's Farnborough International Air Show in the UK, US aircraft manufacturer Boeing did not bring any passenger aircraft to attend due to focusing on handling scandals related to incidents on the 737 MAX. That's why all the attention will be on Airbus's new aircraft A321XLR. As the next evolutionary step of the A320neo, this will be the aircraft to meet market demand for greater range and payload. So how far is the progress for the new plane? What is it about the A321XLR that makes airlines so interested? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please help us improve this channel even further by double checking that you've hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our updates. Now let's dive in. Recently, Airbus announced that it has completed a new assembly line for the A321 XLR aircraft in Hamburg, set a new step in the process of bringing new long-haul jets to passengers. In Hamburg, Airbus celebrated the inauguration of Hangar 246, which included guests from the Hamburg Ministry of Economic Affairs, suppliers, as well as teams at sister companies from Germany and abroad. This will see the construction and assembly of various fuselage skins, as well as the installation of the rear center tank. This is a key part of the XLR's ability to deliver a class-leading range of 8,700 kilometers. Among the guests attending the event was Senator Melanie Leonhard, head of the Ministry of Economy and Innovation of the city of Hamburg. She said, The Airbus A321 XLR is a truly impressive example of technological development, efficiency, and sustainability, and can drive forward exactly these issues in aviation. She expressed the view that Hangar 246 is one of the most modern production halls in the world and sets new standards in efficiency and innovation. As a show of goodwill, the city government thanked Airbus and its partners for being able to complete this facility in such an incredibly short period of time. Hangar 246 is a renovated hall originally built for A380 assembly. Including many improvements, the new hall was built with a high level of automation, including an AS automated crane system and semi-automated guide vehicles. Airbus has selected several regional suppliers for the assembly system, including Broche Automation. The new hall covers an area of 24,000 square meters, equivalent to 92 tennis courts, and is built to world-class ergonomics and safety standards for workers. A photovoltaic system covers 785 square meters, providing nearly 100,000 kilowatt hours per year. A key part of the assembly is the 13,000 liter rear center tank, manufactured at Airbus subsidiary Premium Aerotech in Augsburg, Germany. At Finkenwerder, the tank was coupled to section 17, which was then joined to sections 15 and 1819s to form a central and aft fuselage assembly. The completion of Hangar 246 is an important step towards accelerating a 321 XLR production. In this new assembly line, Airbus has implemented a number of new innovative features. The company always puts the safety and comfort of workers first. That's why, in addition to a lifting platform to improve ergonomics, the new facility also includes elements that reduce noise and increase movement space for workers. An automatic crane system is also prepared for effective cross-section joining. A production line with shells assembled into parts, using a sensor and laser-controlled measurement system to deliver the most accurate results, minimizing even small errors. There are also semi-autonomous vehicles for transport within the internal hangar. Since its announcement at the 2019 Paris Air Show, this aircraft has become the focus of attention as well as a highly anticipated option in airlines order books. The company has received nearly 550 orders to buy this aircraft, specifically the world's largest airline by fleet size. American Airlines and United both ordered 50 aircraft, followed by Qantas ordering 36 aircraft. AirAsia X, JetSmart, Sky Airlines, and Latam Airlines have also confirmed orders. Iceland Air also signed a contract to buy 13 of these aircraft to begin replacing the Boeing 757 in 2029. One of the prominent ones is the Indian low-cost airline, which is one of the customers with a large order for this groundbreaking aircraft. This airline has ordered 69 A321 XLR aircraft to add to the fleet, which is mainly made up of aircraft of the Airbus A320 family. Indigo's strategic investment in the plane is an important step towards international expansion. To double in size by 2030 and committed to improving connectivity, the airline is set for rapid expansion. With an unwavering commitment to excellence, the airline strives to change the future of air travel. The reason this plane attracts many companies to buy is because it has a super long flight range of up to 8,700 kilometers. Airlines can use it to fly to cities thousands of kilometers apart, such as routes from New York to Rome, Chile to Miami, London to Vancouver, Delhi to London, Sydney to Kuala Lumpur, Tokyo to Anchorage, and even Houston to Reykjavik. 
With 180 to 200 seats, airlines find that it is easier to fill these planes with passengers than wide-body aircraft with 250 to 500 seats. Predecessor A. 321 models include the fuel-efficient A321neo and the long-range narrow-body A321LR, helping airlines like JetBlue fly transatlantic flights to London, Paris, and Amsterdam from the U.S. East Coast. According to Airbus, this new aircraft also offers 30% lower fuel consumption per seat than the previous generation aircraft. In addition, the cost of the trip is 45% lower than with modern wide-body aircraft. Unlike modern two-aisle wide-body aircraft such as the Dreamliner or Airbus A350, a 321 XLR passengers will only have a single aisle. This plane also does not have a spacious and luxurious seating compartment like an Airbus A380 or an old Boeing 747. Meanwhile, Boeing will not bring any of its signature jets to the Farnborough International Air Show for the first time in 16 years. Boeing is about to face criminal charges of fraud following two crashes involving 737 MAX jets in Indonesia in 2018 and Ethiopia in 2019 that killed 346 people. At a meeting with Boeing on June 30th, the proposal put forward by the U.S. Department of Justice includes Boeing proactively pleading guilty, paying a financial fine, and accepting three years of supervision by an independent agency. Boeing agreed to a deferred prosecution agreement that protects the company from criminal charges. In return, Boeing will compensate victims' families and take steps to improve safety compliance. Prosecutors later concluded that Boeing failed to honor the terms of the deferred prosecution agreement, but the company denied the allegations. The American manufacturer has one week to respond to the proposal. Last month, Boeing informed its suppliers that there would be a delay in the production of the new jet family of nearly three months. Despite problems and delays with the Boeing 737 MAX program, 80-year-old Alaska Airlines has maintained faith in Boeing. The airline is said to have further strengthened its relationship by ordering 737 MAX 10 jets. However, there is currently no information on the number of aircraft ordered. Perhaps it will be revealed at this July's Farnborough Air Show. National Airline Air Canada has announced an agreement with BOC Aviation Limited to order eight Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft. These eight aircraft are expected to be delivered in 2024 and will undergo necessary modifications before being put into operation in 2025. Michael Rousseau, President and CEO of Air Canada, shared, we look forward to these aircraft entering into service next year upon the completion of some required modifications. These eight brand new, fuel and cost efficient 737 MAX 8 will provide more fleet flexibility and additional capacity while supporting one of our sustainability goals of mitigating emissions. These aircraft were initially operated with a single economy class layout until reconfigured to accommodate Air Canada's standard narrow body to cabin experience. Furthermore, all eight aircraft will be equipped with CFM Leap 1B engines. It can be said the A321 XLR represents a significant advancement in aviation technology, offering airlines a versatile and efficient solution for long haul flights. With its impressive range of 8,700 kilometers and lower operating costs, it has attracted substantial interest from major airlines worldwide, securing nearly 550 orders. The inauguration of the state of the art assembly facility in Hamburg marks a crucial milestone in accelerating the production of this groundbreaking aircraft. Meanwhile, Boeing faces significant challenges with its 737 MAX program, including legal battles and production delays. The contrasting fortunes of Airbus and Boeing at this year's Farnborough International Air Show highlight the dynamic nature of the aviation industry, where innovation, safety, and efficiency remain paramount.